Hello Virgos! We are back! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. You guys, I hope that you had a most amazing New Year's Eve, an amazing holiday season. And for those of you who are struggling to get through the holidays, I hope that you fared well. I know some of you probably had to deal with some family members that you didn't want to deal with, or maybe some of you didn't have anybody. Um, my condolences if you felt like you were alone through the holidays. I trust that 2022 is going to be a year of partnerships, harmony, and peace. It's a 222 year, and especially with the year of the tiger coming in February, things are going to be on. And I feel like the overall message I'm just intuiting here is that everything is going to be okay. There's going to be peace. There's going to be a sense of things working out for you. Things in moderation. The number two is a number of balance, partnership, choices, can be opposition, but also reflection and for some diversity. But I feel because it's a two too, that there will be an energy of equality and reciprocity. And I want to give you some reassurance that this year uh, coming up for you guys, I know it's been difficult for everybody, but be hopeful. Be hopeful. Don't lose your desire and drive, Virgo, because you know there's one sign in the zodiac that will be persevering and keep going and see things through. It's you guys. Okay? So happy holidays, happy new year. Thanks for all your patience and support and waiting. Bookings are now open and available. If you want to get a personal reading with me, um, there's a link in the description box below to do that. Also, if you want to be part of my soul tribe and join my channel, um, I've reduced the price to $9.99 per month. So those of you who recently joined at the $24.99 um, price, I've reimbursed you all. And we're back um, going to do starting in this month, $9.99. So all you'll have to do is just join. And then once you join, I'm going to go live every week and do an answer and question where you can just ask anything you want and I'll pull cards and answer any uh, questions that you might have and give you some messages regarding that and it'll be a lot of fun because it'll be live so it's members only live chat so it, you'll be able to watch the video but if you want to ask a question you have to join all right you guys so i'm so excited that i just can't hide it all right let's take a look here please do hit like share and subscribe on my channel thanks for hanging in there um for the past two weeks I'm truly grateful I came back and I actually wound up gaining more subscribers and just had so many views on the last video. I think it's up to like 30,000, which is totally awesome. All right, listen, you guys, I got a new deck of cards called Love Oracle Cards that I'm shuffling right here. Um, I'll try to leave a link below so you can purchase these if you're interested, but we're going to start with these now and see what the love message is, what drama might show up for you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look. What does Spirit want Virgos to know? Hello to all the moderators and everyone in the chat. All right, let's see. What messages, Spirit, do you have for Virgo for January 2022? Okay. Healing heart. What did I just say? Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Beautiful. So... There's just an energy here of somebody healing from some type of a heartbreak, maybe in the past or something you're dealing with right now, okay? But you're finally in a place of freedom. If you were in a toxic relationship or you found yourself to become toxic in relationships or there's some type of an addiction issue or um, if somebody was addicted to another person and couldn't let go, that energy is happening here. But it's not like toxic letting go it's actually letting go and healing the heart which is amazing um because you know there's people who do the toxic let go where um you know sometimes it's like they let go out of revenge they're angry and um maybe people will post things and uh take the revenge out on social media or say nasty mean things 
And, um, you know, I'm not judging anybody here for doing anything like that. Some people just do the toxic let go where they give you the silent treatment. Or they don't explain themselves. They just abandon connections. The healing heart is like healing that energy where there's possibly apologies or there's some type of recovery in some sense after a great loss there's even physical healing if there was physical you felt physically affected or somebody f became physically ill from a toxic relationship this is a beautiful card to start out with okay and i hope virgo that if you've had some kind of heartbreak or there's a divorce or a sense of loss or you're feeling depressed about anything just understand that um there's the recovery is coming okay the healing is coming okay this is basically like saying the three of swords in the reverse so some of you might be getting an apology from someone or you're giving one okay um but there's a sense of freedom and i was saying that 2022 the first couple of months is going it's going to be all about healing it's going to be all about going into the cocoon if needed um kind of like just withdrawing and taking some time out to rest it's a very beautiful energy what else do you have here oh hand of cards taking a chance a risk doing oh no being strategic options uh not showing your hand hmm not showing your cards gambling okay that's interesting um so there is definitely a chance or a risk being taken here and being strategic about this it could be another person it's somebody okay there's some options but somebody is not going to show their cards or show their hand okay because they don't want to risk losing something again okay so they're keeping their cards close to their chest especially during this healing time especially during this cocooning time thinking things through re-strategizing and being strate strategic in their next moves okay what are the options someone is thinking here what are my options what do i have to work with what can i do what can i not do i'm taking a big risk in regards to this right because hey when you're gambling it's always a risk right let's take a look and see what else is going on here <clears throat> oh the phoenix there's a new phase coming here virgo there's a rekindling there's a renewal transformation growth and a changed mind wow this is amazing i feel like right now somebody's in a position of needing to just disengage to heal to rethink things somebody wants to rekindle or renew a relationship but with growth changed mind with the phoenix like the phoenix is rising the changed mind energy feels mostly like a brainwashing the way somebody was doing something before in the past just was not working and so somebody kept doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results and that is always an energy of insanity right i mean if if whoever is in the past doing and up until this point doing the same thing over and not seeing results then it's time to change things and to do things differently but right now this is a period of healing and holding cards close to the heart to try to feel feel uh feel the energy of like okay what options do i have what can be done here okay and not telling anybody what the plans are because the intention is being set here to renew a connection to transform a connection to have growth to start a new phase okay now that could be for some of you this could have something to do with a partner. This could just have something to do with your relationship with self. Okay? Some of you might just say, I'm rekindling self. I'm renewing self. I'm transforming self. 
and I'm taking a look at how I'm going to do that and I'm disconnecting from everyone and everything so that I can mend and heal and begin again. I love these cards. I just love, love, love these cards. Let's see what else. Okay, there's passion. Wow. Insane chemistry. Liking each other equally. Having fun. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, what, what do you got going on here? Are you communicating with someone right now where there's like insane chemistry and there's like this reciprocity, this passion, this physical passion, this heart passion going on here? Some of you are regrouping and healing from something in your life and you're preparing yourself to start your life over and to go after your passions and your dreams. There might be another person that could be in your life. It could very well be somebody else is feeling this way about you and they are, they are liking you. For some of you, I feel like you, you may be talking to someone at this point or you are involved with someone and they are feeling for you, Virgo, what you are feeling for them. It's, there's, it's equivalent here in their emotions and their passions and a lot of fun to be had coming up. All right, let me see here. This could be also somebody from your past who's quite passionate about you, okay? And the reason I say that is because there's a sense of rekindling and renewal. So there could be a relationship here that perhaps you've let go of or that you both let go of or one person let go of and there's an energy of healing. That passion begins to stir and come back. You know, it just comes back in your heart, really. For you, you feel it. Somebody else begins to feel it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad. There's separation. There was a breakup. A feeling of uh, like a lost, a lost. You have healing heart and heartbroken, grieving and mourning. Okay. So Virgo, I just feel like with these cards, you're going through something here. Maybe you were or something happened during the holidays. I know I wasn't here and I don't know what was going on with you. But there was just this energy of like two people who like each other a real lot and have a passion for each other. Okay, so we're talking about if you went through some heartbreaking situation in the past, two people really like each other a lot, but something couldn't work. Okay, there needed to be a renewal of the mind. A new phase for some, I feel like whatever this heartbreak is, it was a necessary thing. It, it, it needed to happen in order to transition the relationship onto a better level um, and or for some to transition you onto a better level because we're reading for Virgo here, okay? Um, and I... That's why I feel like what I was saying in the beginning, partnership is so big in 2022. It's just so important. Um, you know, I feel like people who have done you wrong in the past, Virgo, I feel like healing can happen, but you got to speak up, Virgo. You got to tell people. You have to call people out on their shit. If they're being a shit stain, you just can't be stifled and just remain silent. But if you've done that, and you've done that over and over and over and over, and the person still wasn't hearing you, Virgo, I hope that you left. Because that's on them. They have to fix themselves. And I hope that you got up the courage to walk away and go within and get your healing time. And if you haven't done it yet, you need to. And get that time alone with self and have get that self-love back, you know, because that love that you give out, it doesn't just disappear. When somebody rejects it, it comes right back to you. So absorb it. All the love that you gave another person, just let it come back to you. Let it flow back to you. Okay? So a lot of you are healing from a heartbroken situation. Okay? Is there a possible rekindling? There could be. Okay? But there's definitely... A leveling up that's happening here for someone all right and it's really really important that you take this time to yourself put up your boundaries and and make yourself first this year in 2022 because if you can't love yourself nobody else can virgo okay and if you were loving yourself and somebody wasn't loving you that's because they don't love themselves or they just don't love you 
okay? And sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow, but it doesn't mean that your value goes down, okay? Okay, I've got camera. Wow. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. Okay. So I don't know. Some of you might have your face out there somewhere. somewhere. Someone um, has keepsake of you, pictures of you, or you of they. There's someone here that's got pictures, and they're reminiscing on... Um, someone's reminiscing on old pictures or keepsakes that might have been given seeing someone differently there's like a per like perception it's like kind of like looking and, and trying to perceive understand also learning from the past as well i feel like somebody wants to make new memories going forward this looks like doesn't this, this looks like the instagram <laughs> camera a little bit Maybe somebody's using a camera at this time, um, taking pictures, professional pictures, using like an, I don't know, like a real nice camera. Okay, but there's definitely an energy of reminiscing happening here. Um, somebody's reminiscing about someone from the past while healing their heart at this time. I do feel like there's transformation. Somebody does feel heartbroken, but they're not really showing it and they're not saying anything. Okay. They're definitely thinking of taking a risk to try to renew this because there's a very strong passion. Okay. Somebody has a very strong passion. Now, just remember, this could be reversed. The roles could be reversed here. It could be two people at the same time. It could just be an energy where it's all about you. Let me see. I love these cards. Okay. Talking. The talking card interested maybe there's more communication there's some communication coming in uh an awaited message arrives there's a text a phone call an email and for some of you it might even be hoovering <laughs> okay hoovering and you know that word is only used in a particular community here so some of you might know what i'm talking about some of you were in a relationship with someone who was malignantly selfish okay and some of you decided to leave that connection i don't care how long ago it was um to heal and to rise up again take a risk on self okay heart feeling heartbroken but getting your pet your passion back uh somebody here is kind of like in betwixt and between still has passion for the person but like is healing from all the abuse right uh, some of you i just heard are taking a look at if you were involved with someone who was just had a lot of demons they were fighting and um pushing them onto you some of you are separating the the demon from the person in other words you see the person and you're like wow this person's like possessed by some kind of demon and i'm not saying that you are i mean you are you, you have your empathy and you 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 have that sense of like you feel bad for them but at the same time you've got your boundaries up because when someone has that that demon spirit in them where they're you know causing anxiety and their their suspicion and jealousy and and um verbal emotional physical abuse you know that you're able virgo that's the one thing one of your gifts you're able to look at how this person maybe there's drug addiction or alcohol you're able to look at this person and see how they are being ruled by these things they're allowing it to happen or they're just kind of like possessed i don't know like the exorcist i don't know i mean your person's like vomiting and they're green and spinning their head on the bed who the hell knows and you're kind of looking at them like, wow, that's a shame, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Some of you definitely. And that's what all this healing energy is. Okay. Um, and rising up from it. But I do feel like there is going to be whoever, there is going to be an energy of somebody reaching back out again. Okay. And I did say that there was going to be some kind of renewal here. Um, some of you might be waiting to hear from someone, even though you shouldn't be. 
okay and others of you might actually be wanting to hear from someone to see if they're okay if this is like family member or somebody who is struggling with an addiction or going through something that really destroyed a relationship okay um hmm. i feel like but i feel like somebody wants to talk to you okay hoovering is here but i also have somebody wants to talk to you if you're involved with someone who is very um abusive and and you know that this person is going to be reaching back out to you again and you have your guard up um it doesn't matter if that person's hoovering you quote unquote because if you're not getting the message you won't know and it won't affect you so if you need to go ahead and block people and remove yourself from receiving i mean even still you can shield yourself as much as you like but what's important is you take that healing time to um get your boundaries strong right so that you just become untouchable so that no matter what anybody says or does you don't have to block them you're just like nah and when you get to that point where you're past the healing and you're good and you're grounded it, you'll be indifferent and it won't matter anymore but some of you i feel like you're still struggling with that and that's okay that's why some of you need to go into that cocoon and kind of just pull yourself in relax get grounded think logically not emotionally and write virgo do as much writing as you can when you start writing about some troubles that you've been through or things that you've had that were difficult you'll find you'll go through a lot of different stages of writing if you keep writing one minute you'll write you'll find yourself to be very angry and the next minute you'll be very forgiving and then the next minute you'll be calm and wise and then you'll write again and then you'll be angry again you got to get all that out okay um but i definitely feel like someone is interested in talking to you um <clears throat> so look out for a text call or email or or a possible hoover <laughs> oh, oh shit engagement ring <laughs> Oh my gosh, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Okay, so here's the thing, right, Virgo? I want to just say this to you because I, I have to say this to you. Yes, there's a witch hunt out there for narcissists, okay? But actually, someone who's got malignant narcissism, that's usually someone who's like diagnosed, you know, it's in the DM. DSM. I'm not a doctor. I don't know who you're dealing with. And I, I would rather just say that whomever you were dealing with was just really on the high end of selfishness. Okay. Because before the DSM, DSM even coined it, that is really what it is. And selfish people have been throughout eternity. Okay. Um, if you can honestly sit there and say, oh, my person was diagnosed and I know they are, there you go. But if you don't know for sure, just coin it because I feel like there's such a witch hunt with the narcissism that everyone's a narcissist. And I'm not saying there's an uptick in that, <clears throat> but it was definitely an uptick in um, self-centeredness behavior, but like in just a very, people aren't connecting anymore. Anyway, you've got engagement ring here. So you're going to have to be very discerning because I feel like somebody's going to come in and make a proposal or an offer to you. Okay. <clears throat> for partnership and give you a gesture to want to have some kind of partnership for you you have to be very discerning i can't be there with you when that happens if you feel like somebody is coming in here and they haven't healed like you got to be able to make sure that this person is coming back healed okay and i'm not talking about oh enough time went by now i miss you i'm talking about hey I cut, the, I cut my leg off right below my knee. I'm bleeding. I'm walking on stubs. I got crutches. Here it is. I'm ready to walk with you. Show me the way. And I will do whatever it takes to make this relationship work. If somebody's not coming back in with that energy, keep it moving, Virgo. Keep it moving. Okay? Because that will take you down and drag you into the, the ditch for years. Okay? Now for others. Okay? If this is, if you were, you know, this might not be someone from your past coming back, okay? For others, as you begin to heal, right? And you start getting your passion back for life and you take one final look back at somebody 
and you have a keepsake of that person, okay, but you've learned from the past and you're ready to make new memories, what did I say? 2022 is going to be a partnership year, okay? There's going to be some type of communication coming in. You're going to meet somebody if you're not already talking to somebody right now. Um, there's going to be a lot of conversation. Um, and somebody wants to get to know you. They're very interested. And this is something that could lead to engagement, partnership, commitment, happily ever after, eternity, completion, union. You name it. All right, Virgo. So I know... And I have faith that whatever you're going through, however difficult things are for you, if you're feeling up and down, you're, you're in one minute, you're out the next, you're confused, you're lost, that's all part of the process. Trust the process. Don't beat yourself up every day because you're having some bad days and then you're having some good days. Just say, yep, this is where I'm at today. Talk to yourself. Label what you're feeling. Say, okay, today I'm not feeling so good, so I need to give myself a little bit of a break. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel better. But just understand that it's like a roller coaster. Healing is never comfortable. I don't know why anybody would ever think that, okay, healing is going to be a freaking breeze. It's not. Do you ever slice open your arm? <laughs> that healing, it's itchy, it burns, it's sore, you can't move your arm, you might get an infection. Healing is very, very uncomfortable. And if you're feeling very uncomfortable, that means you're on the right path. Okay, so take care of yourself, self-care, self-love, very important. Whatever you're going through right now is going to birth a beautiful blessing. There's a reason for all of this, okay? Whether this is a rekindling and a healing of a relationship begins to happen through the grace of spirit and, you know, you guys start talking again in a very positive way and you sense and they sense that you guys are able, like you've come through something pretty serious and you've learned lessons and and, and none of that lip service was, oh, I had a wake up call. Fuck you did, right? Show me. <laughs> no more. We're not accepting these fake apologies in 2022. And don't be giving fake apologies either, Virgo, to anybody. Mean what you say and say what you mean, right? So let's get one more and then we're going to move forward. Paradise, beautiful, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Virgo, you're on your way to paradise. Don't you dare give up, Virgo. Don't you dare give up on yourself first. I'm not telling you to put yourself aside and then not give up on the other per and you know keep your focus on the other person. No, first self, second, other person, but always be, you know, true to yourself, always, every minute of the day, every second, because you know, Virgo, you know, you have a tendency, and, and we all do this, Virgos are martyrs of the zodiac, we want to help other people, we want to make other people feel good, because that makes us feel good, but then when those people aren't around, and we can't nurture anybody, <laughs> then we're just kind of like, well, now I feel empty and lost. No, 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 no. Nurture yourself, especially if you deal with codependency issues and things like that. That might be part of your healing for some, okay? If you're in a toxic relationship, anybody who's toxic is going to be codependent, at least from my understanding, and that's what I'm picking up here, okay? Um and someone who's codependent can make another person codependent if they don't have strong boundaries or even if they they get sidetracked, right? So some of you might be healing your codependency, right? And I hope that you are. Some of you bought a book or you, you're purchasing a book on that or you haven't heard of it and you're just hearing it now and you might decide to do that. Virgo, I just feel like you want to be in a healthy, happy relationship. Okay? I feel like you don't want to have anyone gaslight you and you don't want to gaslight yourself anymore. You want to just be able to speak the truth, see the truth, know the truth, feel the truth, intuit and vibe with the truth. That's what you're all about. Okay. Let's take a look here. 
but paradise is coming. Oh, I just heard that song. It does be just like living in paradise. Isn't that Van Halen with David Lee Roth? Okay, we have palm trees and water. So, all right, yeah, they just said give you a couple of um, different messages. Okay, I know some of you are sitting, some of you might be actually at your laptop listening to this video, um, or you're on some kind of computer. Um, maybe it's your phone, okay? Um, but I'm feeling like these palm trees, sunny, maybe an island, water vibes here. So there could be somebody that lives near palm trees um, or lives near a beach or in a sunny climate, very warm climate. Um, as some of you might be listening and shuffling a deck of cards or you were playing with a deck of cards, maybe on New Year's Eve, you played a card game or poker or something. <laughs> Somebody's got a dragon tattoo, I just heard. Um, okay, wait. And somebody is, or was working on some kind of um, stitching project or stitching something, or maybe you're work in the medical field and you gave stitches recently, or somebody got stitches. I just heard, okay. And some of you have like a teenage daughter somewhere around you. Okay. Um, and also they just said um, somebody needs to get their eyes fixed or go get some eye, something done with the eyes, maybe a new pair of glasses something done with the eyes all right let me see here oh and also um somebody's looking at jewelry this right now they're looking at jewelry they're looking at they're eyeing up a big ring now it could be you for yourself or maybe for somebody else or somebody else is doing this for you or they have their eye on the prize all right i was shuffling this deck but they just said no don't use that deck. All right. You know what? I really just wanted to give the reading with these cards. And you know what? They just said, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. All right. Let's see how it goes. All right. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So some of you have finally put the last nail in the coffin, haven't you? Some of you have just decided, that's it. Forget it. I'm done. Nothing else I can do. I'm moving on. Sealing it shut. Rest in peace, mother effer. I'm not moving forward anymore with this. I'm on to growth. I'm on to change. I'm freeing myself freedom from this toxic relationship or toxic relationships you know i'm making that transition i'm burying this and putting it to rest once and for all and some of you with the hand of cards here you know you're not saying nothing you're just leaving you're walking away you're not showing your hand you're not showing your hands. Now, some of you might have had somebody that recently passed away. I know Betty White passed away. Oh, my gosh. It was so, like, you know, I, I have to be honest. Like, I didn't feel deeply sad. I was kind of like, <laughs> got my fingers moving. My fingers, like, freaking out. Spazzing right here on the talking card. That is so weird. Look, my, my finger's having, like, a little spaz attack on the talking card. Okay, they're telling me to go back to this. This talking, somebody's really nervous about talking to you. Whew. Wow, that's what I was just feeling with my finger. Is it gonna do it again? It's not. Somebody's so nervous. They're jumpy. They're jumpy and they can't get themselves together. They can't think straight. They're so afraid to, to reach out and talk to you that they're afraid they're going to like fumble their words or sound like a fool or, or not say the right things. And, and somebody who's not communicating with you right now because of that, because they're trying to be strategic in what they want to say. <laughs> like It's almost like they're, tr they're writing out. They're, I just see somebody is like, they're, 
text, they're writing a text or the, an email and they're like scripting it out. And then when it, when they do reach out to you, they're going to be reading from that script so that they don't mess up what they want to say to you. So weird. So, so weird. Okay. Wow. You've got love, unconditional love, self-love oneness passion affection attraction oh virgo you're like so into yourself okay they just told me valentine's day is going to be a significant day february 14th 2022 or maybe that's somebody's birthday um i don't know some of you are going to go out and buy yourselves a really big valentine's gift like instead of being depressed if you don't have anyone because i know some of you are like i don't care if that mfr is too nervous to talk to me or whatever i've moved on and i'm i'm going to keep it moving if i don't have anybody by valentine's day i'll go out and buy myself a bottle of wine and a box of candy a box of chocolates you do it virgo go buy yourself a big beautiful bouquet of flowers and set the standard okay well there's definitely self-love happening here for you and I feel like you're finally going to get to that place where you're like, damn, I'm amazing. Because <laughs> I know a lot of you probably already are. But I feel like you're like, damn, I'm amazing. And what this person didn't see is their loss. And it's not my problem. No, 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 no. And, and I'm not talking about self-love in a narcissistic way or a selfish way. I mean, I'm talking about like just caring for yourself, loving yourself, giving to yourself what you've been giving to somebody else or you've been giving to others. That's attractive, Virgo. <clears throat> but there's definitely um, somebody's going to try to be very affectionate with you. You know, in the next two months, definitely a lot of um, passion. There's somebody becoming extremely attracted to you. Um, Definitely, I, I, they're just telling me February. Something's going on in February. Okay. Oh, there you got a love call. Okay. Someone expresses their feelings for you, Virgo. There's a message of love thinking of you and letting you know. I would expect something around. There's going to be a very strong love call definitely around Valentine's Day. Just save this video so that you'll remember. Um... I do feel like with this talking card that there's somebody here who actually wants to ask you to marry them or be their significant other, but they're so nervous. It's going to take them a real long time to actually reach out and say this to you. They might email it to you, which, okay. Um, I don't know. The nervousness and the fear seem to be real dominant in this person right now. And it might be, I feel... Okay, I just heard they could be writing a story for you. Um, I feel like around Valentine's Day is when they're going to do it. <clears throat> Which, okay, Virgo, you know what that means? Whether it's a past person or a new person. Take January and February, the next six weeks, to just fucking heal. Heal. Rest. Start doing you. Put yourself first. Work on your physical self. Work on your mental. Go back to church. Learn your spiritual stuff. Get that spiritual healing in. Learn that. Learn, a, like, get yourself educated about what you need to do for self. Rewrite the manual of who you are. You know, when you buy a car, it always comes with a manual. Whenever you buy an appliance, it comes with directions how to use it. Virgo, Write a manual for self. How to, how to work me. How to work Virgo. What does Virgo need to operate at the highest and best efficient level to be happy? Right? So take these next six weeks and do that. And figure out who you are and what you want and what you're doing and what your plans are. Be strategic, like it says here. Okay? Don't show your cards to anybody. Take a chance on yourself. 
strategically write down what are your options what do you need to do and don't tell anybody build in silence virgo take this time take a gamble on yourself virgo all right i love it okay girl with a snake okay did i say somebody has a dragon tattoo could be somebody's got a snake tattoo all right here we go my gosh Empath, empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabling boundaries okay listen <laughs> i feel like this is going in a particular i'm trying not to go down that road but the word narcissist is here so i'm just gonna say it some of you left a narcissistic abusive relationship Okay, I don't care. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. All you know is you walked away feeling worse than when you went in. It, it for some of you, destroyed you. Okay, for some of you, you nearly lost everything, if not your soul and your spirit. And some of you, like I said, you buried that mf -er. You said, that's it. You're done. Girl or a guy with a snake, it doesn't matter. You were you you liberated yourself from this thing and this person. You know I don't know if you know and like I said I read a lot of stuff but I'm not a physician so I don't I can't confirm but I've read that narcissists are very codependent, believe it or not, and um, it's just a, it's just a real deep form of insecurity. And this person it doesn't surprise me with the nervousness to reach out because some of you caused a narcissistic injury where you said done with this shit mm -mm. and just broke off the relationship you might not have even told them you were leaving you some of you just had absolutely no contact uh, some of you did tell them that you didn't want to speak to them anymore and you were done whatever you caused a deep deep wound in this person who was already wounded but they were expecting you they needed you to carry them all the way through that's why they kept holding on to you okay and the empath, empath and narcissistic paradigm is generally the push-pull relationship. It's the chaser-runner, you know, but it's the karmic twin flame connection, okay? This person, maybe they were, someone was a year of the snake or you're the year of the snake. This person, I do feel, is going to try, they're going to they're gonna make a bold move, because what do they have in their arsenal? This is it. The one thing that you wanted at one point was to be in union with this person, like forever and ever and ever, happily ever after. They knew it. And because they knew that the, you wanted that, they withheld it. They weren't going to give you what you want. But as soon as you're cutting it off here, and I'm just going to put this out there, here it comes. Here comes that very thing you want. And that's why I said to you in the beginning, you need to vet the fuck out of this person. Cut off below the knee energy. I'm telling you, you need to vet this person and make them prove it. And I'm going to tell you what, don't tell them for how long, because these people, they'll come in, oh, they'll prove it for a little while. But then you'll start noticing that once they get you to where they want you, they start slacking off. And then they blame you oh it was your fault and then you feel bad and that's where the soul destroying because they do the love bombing and then the devalue and then the discard now let me just give you a piece of advice here don't don't allow anyone to come back in if you're not feeling like if you're not if you're not going to be indifferent to them if you're not going to feel indifferent to this person, if you get a call or a message or a text, or they show up some way, somehow, and you feel triggered by that, you are not done healing. So be honest with yourself. Okay? Don't let this person stab you in the back and then come in with the Band-Aid and say they're trying to save you from all your hurt and pain when they're the ones who caused it. Do you ever see like, you know, like a physician, if they make a mistake, 
like a surgeon, if a surgeon cuts into you and screws up, they bring other surgeons in to make that fix because something's wrong with that surgeon if he made like, such a big screw up like that, like nicked an artery or something. You know what I mean? Don't let the person who hurt you come back in to rescue you ever. That's a game. Okay. Now, some of you, this isn't the situation at all. Okay. All right, they just told me some of you do have somebody who is who has good intentions, but again, at the end of when this video is over, you have to be the one to make that call, okay? Because you got to vet for yourself, right? I'm just giving the messages. They only align when you do the work and find out. This person could have been in a relationship with a very manipulative person in the past. And, and you either you already know them or you will meet them and they will tell you. They're very nervous and ashamed to tell you that <clears throat> they went through that. They're humiliated and they're trying to heal. And they want the true love and they want that, you know, healthy relationship. But there's an energy of like... I, I get just a very melancholy feeling about whoever this person is. They were with they were with someone who was like an absolute snake, total snake in the grass. Oh, you know, I heard I heard a lyric the other day, and I have to tell you what it is. Did I write it down? I hope I did. Hold on. It's from a song. I don't remember what song. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Oh, it, all right. So it's lyric from Ario Speedwagon. I think it's called, the song's called, I'm going to keep on loving you. But the lyrics go, you played dead, but you never bled. Instead, you laid still in the grass, all coiled up and hissing. Okay. So that's basically somebody who um, pretended, pretended. That, like they played dead but they never really bled they pretended they were hurt but there were no visual signs there was no actual bleeding okay they just hid like a snake in the grass okay and some of you got hooked up with someone or somebody got hooked up with somebody who was like that who cried wolf but there was no wolf they were just a liar so if that's your story virgo i'm here to tell you you better keep it moving. We are not doing shit stains in 2022. If somebody can't come in transparent and open and proving themselves and they have not healed and they're just coming back to take more. And if you meet somebody who is recently going through this and is still having a hard time, give them time to heal because that's going to be a rebound and you're not doing rebounds. And don't tell me that you are, because I'm not about that on this channel here. No rebounds. The Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life, Virgo. Look at a spooky thing. Okay. No second, no third. Listen, the way I see it is if somebody cheats on you once, fine. You want to take them back? Okay. They made a mistake. They want to go in. They're like, I'm ready to heal. I'm ready to heal. Good. But if they cheat once and they want to come back, but they're not ready to do any work, you need to let them go. You need to cut them off and not give another chance. Okay? So if they do something that upsets the apple cart, that causes a toxic wedge, puts a toxic wedge in a relationship, and they want to come back and fix it, and you see, you like call them out, and you call them to their attention, and turn that grown boy or grown girl into a grown man or a grown woman, make them do the work, and tell them, this is what it's going to cost you. And if they don't do it, no second chances. Relationship's over. Call it, Virgo. You got to call time on something here. Okay. Oh, unbelievable. Stabbed in the back. I just said that. 
heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. All right. Some of you, I'm going to warn you. This feels more like a warning. But listen, let's keep it real. You're going to start 2022 on a new footing. Okay. Somebody's being stabbed in the back. And the only way I feel like you could be stabbed in the back is if you just back up into somebody and say, here you go. Okay. If you're going to let somebody back in and give them another chance and they're not going to do the work or they're not trying to do the work to earn your love back, you're not making them earn it. You have no one else to blame but yourself. And this person, they will, they will stab you in the back again. They will do it to you because you let it. Don't allow it. People can't hurt you unless you allow them to hurt you right? It's a decision you have to make, Virgo. And some of you have already been stabbed in the back and you know you're moving on. And for those of you who have just, you're done with that relationship, you definitely have someone here where you start talking or you already are and the chemistry is off the charts. You like each other a lot and you're having fun. Just be, go slow, Virgo, it, because I do feel like somebody, you both, I feel like you're going to meet and you're going to like, say wow i went through similar things but still slow it down go slow because that toxicity needs like you know when you have like you have something in like a splinter in your skin you got to dig it all out if it stays in even a tiny little piece it could get infected it's got to all be cleared out you got to saline wash that shit <laughs> clean it up all right, one more. Okay, separation. Okay, sadness. Someone's missing you, Virgo. They're thinking about you a lot. They're yearning. They're unsure of the future. A, a lot of you have just, you've just left it. And you didn't leave any clarity for somebody. And you, if somebody was abusive to you, you don't owe anybody shit. You don't owe anybody an excuse. You don't need to be well, let me do the right thing, and that's because that's who I am, and let me tell my abuser that I'm leaving. Fuck that. No. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't need to tell this person what they did wrong. It's not your problem. You're not the counselor. You're not the therapist. If you were with them for a long time, and they don't know, or they didn't realize that they were hurting you, like over and over again, the things they were saying, whoa, that's not somebody, that's not the person for you, Virgo. That is not the person for you, and you got to keep it moving. Um, all right. Heal that heart, Virgo. Keep it healing. Let's see. And I don't mean just a lover. You know, we could, this is a love reading, but we could be talking about family members, friends, co workers. Some of you need to get restraining orders on people, or you already have one on somebody. Yeah, let's look at, okay, so for some of you, it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person is, okay, not specifically this person, but somebody here might be unmarried or divorced, okay, focusing on their career at this time. It's like a kind of a beautiful distraction. Somebody might be very judgmental. But there's an energy of releasing situations or people that no longer serve for the highest good of a relationship. Okay. A lot of decisions and options being made, weighing options. Um, some of you just, with the nine of ones, I'm telling you, you got your boundaries up. Nine of ones keeping and maintaining those boundaries and being persistent with that. Very, very important. You might have been dealing with someone that was a juggler or you might just be trying to like stay afloat right now and that's fine. You're just trying to balance things out. There's, there's just a lot of roller coastery energy happening here and you know, your emotions, maybe in your career. I'm not predicting this for the future. I'm just looking at right now here. I do feel like somebody is going to try to come back in though. And they are going to pull, they're going to pull the big one here for you, Virgo. They're going to pull the big one on you. And it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be pretty shocking. Okay. I don't feel like, so, I feel like somebody here is not willing to let you go. They're not going to be wanting to let you go. 
Okay, a couple of charms. Okay, we have a seahorse. So maybe somebody has, maybe you have seahorses, seahorses in a fish tank. Okay, seahorses mate for life, as someone coined the phrase before. Um, and that is weird because it kind of, it's weird because it fell right next to the phone here. It's one of those old time phones, you know, from like the 90s. It looks like a phone. Somebody's going to call you, tell you like they want to be with you forever. And I feel like that's just confirming what I've already said. You have the Hamsa here. So this is for protection. So somebody here definitely needs to get that, get in protective and protective mode. Protect yourself, protect your boundaries and seek peace. You've got a dove here with a shamrock. So, no, I'm sorry, a clover, four-leaf clover. Maybe somebody has a picture of that somewhere. Or they have a they have pressed clovers. Dried pressed clovers. I just feel like I'm gonna get another one. I'm not gonna do initials today. I'll I'll get back into that tomorrow. Okay. So we have a gold flower with a diamond in it. Somebody, maybe you got a gift like that or you will be getting a gift. This is also fireworks. I just saw a big plume of fireworks. So maybe you're still seeing fireworks today or you still hear them outside. Um, or you were like the fireworks, if you saw any yesterday were, or New Year's Eve were beautiful, like the best things you've ever seen. Like you were a beast. Okay. It's interesting. Oh my God. You have two unicorns, but they're very different. So, all right. I don't know. I just have to put this out there. Uh, there might've been somebody you were connecting with that had longish black hair because this unicorn, I just noticed I've never seen it before. He's got kind of like a long black hair mane. Well, you can't really see it. Um, and someone's got very curly, lustrous hair. Okay, so that could be either you have black hair or this person or, or there's long or there's curly hair, a lot of curls, but two un, two opposed matches. I feel like this was a match that was just, it was like a unicorn. It was like some of you, I feel, uh, felt like, I just heard they said, this is not the person I usually go for. We're not even evenly matched but for some reason there was a very strong draw to one another but it was a very it just feels like it was a karmic it was a karmic relationship very unhealthy became very toxic okay but it will be safe for you to love again at some point Virgo open your heart when you're ready to give and receive the highest energy and love of all right now you don't feel safe Right now you're not feeling safe and that's why a lot of you are going into like cocoon mode. You're wrapping yourself up in blankets. You're not going out as much. You, or even if you are, you're kind of keeping yourself, like you've got some kind of distance and that's good. Okay, because that's what you need to do. You need to get, some of you just need to get some distance from something. You don't have to, some of you I know you put the final nail in the coffin. For others of you, you're not ready to do that just yet. And that's okay. You don't have to. Just give yourself some time and get some distance. Tell everybody you're on vacation or whomever. You don't have to tell them why. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to say shit to anybody. You don't owe anybody anything. Just yourself. Okay, unless you're kids then, of course, you know, or if you have like, well, I just say your kids, right? Self-love is first, right? You tell your kids what's going on, but it's also safe for you to love yourself right now, Virgo. So remember that, okay? Open your heart to yourself. Just give yourself some hugs every day, Virgo, right? And then kick your own ass to get yourself into gear. Get back up on the horse here. At, when you're ready, get back up on the horse. Make a decision. Pick a lane. And just fucking ride that lane to get all the way to the end to your destination. Don't flip flop. Don't go back and forth. Just make a decision and stick with it. Perseverance. Day in and day out. That's where success comes. True love. Okay. Romance of a lifetime. You will have true love again. And like I said, for some of you, there is somebody in here whom you may be connecting with. And I, I, they just gave me this other message. There is someone, okay, 
Now, this part I didn't say, and I'm glad you're still here. There is someone here that you are going to be connecting with, and it's going to be a beautiful new beginning. And I just still feel like February. But you're also going to have someone from your past who's going to be, you know, someone who's very toxic and unhealthy, who's going to try and interfere. Are they going to try and come back? I'm not saying you're going to have a decision to make because I feel like a lot of you are not going to fall for any love bombing, okay? And I don't feel like you're going to be like thinking back on the past and choosing a past person. By the time this this new stuff starts happening, which I was feeling like February, by the time new things really start taking off in your love life, anybody else that tries to come back, exes are exes for a reason. Anybody else that tries to come back, you're going to look at the past and you're going to look at the present and the future and say, what the hell? If I go back to that, I must be insane because look what's right in front of me or look what's coming towards me, you know, or look what I'm starting to talk to or connect with. Anything, Virgo, will be better than that toxic relationship or someone that was addicted to you or just put you on a shelf or treated you and took you down whenever they were, it was convenient for them. No good, no good, no good. So I'm actually very happy for you because it feels like you have a lot of good energy coming in, but you have some residual left over that you got to like saline and wash out. <laughs> saline and get rid of that. Okay. I think I'm going to end it there for now. I hope that you enjoyed that reading. I hope it's a better 2022 for you. Like I said, I do feel partnership, but there's one last thing I want to say. Okay. I, when I said it's a two year, a two, two year, I heard this little voice in my head that said, well, 2022 two two is three twos. And that made me feel like third party. So there, there, for some of you, there is going to be an inter, a third party interference in a partnership. Okay. And as soon as you're done and you're healed and you get back on the horse and you've got somebody new that you're moving towards, I don't know how a past person is going to know about this somehow they're going to know maybe they'll feel it or they'll sense you're gone or they'll see you somehow some way or they're watching you um or thinking about you they are going to try to come in with the everything you've ever wanted <laughs> so i'm just putting that out there i just want to put that out there for you okay and i'm going to leave your reading here and i hope that you got some good guidance from it. Um, remember, it's a general message, so it may or may not apply to you. But take what fits, leave the rest, leave comments below, you guys, if you know, or in the chat, of course, if you are resonating with this reading. And don't forget to join the membership $9.99 per month. And you can just pop in to the live chats, members only chat. Just hang out and ask as many questions as you want. We'll chit chat. I'll pull some cards for you. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, you guys. So I hope you have a glorious 2022. And you know, I'll see you here tomorrow as we are back going strong in Virgo fashion. And yeah, I love you guys. All right, take care.